I, I took my interests in small batch craft beer to the local microbrewery, which is called Otter Creek. It's in Middlebury, Vermont. And I finagled my way into an apprenticeship there, which eventually unfolded into me becoming the youngest commercial brewer in the United States. I was too young to drink what I was making, but I was the second brewer at Otter Creek for a while. It was complete happenstance and, and kind of fortuitous, fortuitous bounces for me. And it was awesome. I was the most insufferable underage beer snob you've ever met in your life <laughs> for quite a while. <laughs> so that was my entry into alcohol. What's that? Sorry. It's definitely not common knowledge because the brewery didn't really want this was back in the 90s, so social media didn't have a chance to kind of get its tentacles in there and blow it up or anything. And the brewery wasn't advertising it like, hey, look, we got a kid making our beer. Come drink it. It was, uh, it was more of a... I was, it, it was a crazy situation. Basically, this small microbrewery had two brewers. There was a number one and a number two. The number one, one fateful week, wrecked his back and couldn't lift heavy bags of grain for like two weeks. Same calendar week, the number two brewer, and this is, I'm not making this up, he left the state to join the circus. He wanted to be a clown. So he moved to New York City. So, unbelievable, unbelievable timing. So, C CEO Lawrence Miller, himself a former home brewer who had turned this into a very, very successful microbrewery or craft brewery organization, he called an all-hands meeting and was like, does anybody in this joint know how to make beer? And there were probably 12, 13 of us, and everybody's like, Psh. and then little 17-year-old me was like, I know how to make beer. And, and he was like, oh, God. Yep. Yeah, and that's how I became the youngest in, in the States. Maybe the youngest since, you know, Prohibition. 